Olan Rowaju Drodula has emerged the winner here at the Buko Boxing Arena, defeating Tayel Jafarov, the man who traveled all the way from Azerbaijan, but could only last one round. We are still here in the ASPA Promotions Stroke Box Office Sports Promotions Independence Night Fight in Ghana this Saturday night. And we are here with the champ, Basti Samer. So ba Basti, you, you are also a cruiserweight. And you just saw what happened. Will you, will you challenge Drondola to a fight? Because I think Ghana and Nigeria fight. Ladies and gentlemen, we're still building right up to, to that big one already. between Sharif Gray and will, Michael Ansa. That comes up later on here on the bill at the Bukum Boxing yeah, Arena. I'm, I'm, I'm but right about everyone. now, we present to you a 12-round national featherweight contest between the champion John Lai and the challenger Kamaldine Boyfew. Put your hands together, ladies and gentlemen, as we get ourselves ready to welcome the two boxers into the ring. You know, uh, when he, uh, he challenges me, I'm ready to fight him. Even right now, when I want to fight now. I wish I'm angry. I wish that you know, would just like, be like, you know. I want, I want, I want, I want, I want uh, because he just won round one KO. Uh, so uh, that uh, that type of fighters, I want to fight with, you know, so that I can prove myself, you know. But they haven't said anything. But still now, there's more fighters around, so I'm there, you know. I'm always there. I'm hungry. I'm always there, you know. <laughs> but you did a good job, though. Okay, definitely. You, you, you spoke about how he should, he should take advantage of the body shots. After the first body shot, if the guy failed to, to, to stand up in the first body shot, and so was he listening to you or he also used his own body IQ then? Um, him, him, I mean, like, uh, like, uh, like I said, I've met him. You know, if a fighter, if, if a boxer uh, go through the Olympics qualify, go to uh, all of them games, uh, 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 come game, uh, Olympic he have a lot, he have experience. So I think he, he, he saw it. He saw it's not easy to qualify for both, those yeah. competitions in the first place. Yeah, so he saw it down. He got the body shot. He got to take a body shot. And he, he got, that, that, that's a smart boxer. But some fighters, you can see, you, you can hit you with a body shot. And now, ladies and, and gentlemen, we welcome the, into the, the ring the yeah. champion, you know, John so, Laie. That's, that's why you use it. Definitely. Yeah. That's a good work there by Drondola. So now, we have another, our next fight coming up. That's the... I think it's Ghana Super Featherweight title championship. These two guys fought before, and John Laie, John Laie, the exclusive boxer, won. But this guy called Cameroon Boyfield has never accepted the verdict, so they are doing the rematch. And that happens to be our next fight. And you can see Cameroon is in the ring, and we are waiting for. The expensive boxer, John Lai. Then, then this fight is going to be a very good fight. Yeah, it appears to be a show of very good fights, very good matchups. Yeah, because, because if this guy yeah, didn't accept the defeat and he still want a rematch, if somebody want a rematch, you need, to, uh, you need to train hard, you need to be very, very careful. You know, but you have seen that maybe he won and they took it from him. So right now he's going to do something extra. So, I think it's going to be a very good fight. Uh, we can't wait. We can't wait. We are, they are in the ring. And John Laie, the team of John Laie, they are still waiting for them to appear here. You know, he's one of the bosses trained by Carl Loco. We have already seen one of Carl Loco's boxers already win here. And he's coming with the second boxer. You know Daniel Gosh. Yeah, yeah. That yeah. one is one of Carlos boys. Yeah, yeah. And another one is coming up. Yeah, that, that, that one is doing good. 
good. It's very good. Like, like you know, you can see uh, the Ghanaian boxers are uh, uh, picking up small, small. You know, so I mean, this, like, like, like this rematch fight, he need to prove more. You know, so that that put him in the next level. You know, so I think it will be a good fight. So, but you shouldn't, you shouldn't take it for granted. Like I said, if somebody come from another country to fight in your country, fight with you in the country, it is very, very dangerous because he might beat you. When he beat you, he have disgraced you in your country. <laughs> so, you need to go all out. <laughs> so, I wish him good luck and you have to go all out. You know? And that's, and that's your life, you know? I think they have the title as the Ghana featherweight or I think super featherweight title. Oh. And there is Abaya Laye, the expensive boxer. And we are still here at the Bukon Boxing Arena. Live on ASTV, ASTV YouTube, ASTV Facebook, ASTV Instagram, and Twitter. This show is brought to you by Ace Power Promotions and Box Office Sports Promotions. The two outfits are brought to you the December 24th show on Christmas Eve last year. And we are here again for this show. And the expensive boxer is in the Ghana national football team colors. And let's listen to the ring announcer. And now, ladies and gentlemen, we present to you the national featherweight title fight. And of course, I go straight to the boxer fighting out of the blue corner. Tonight, ladies and gentlemen, he comes into this bout as the challenger, weighing in at 126 pounds and fighting out of the Charles Quarte gym here in Accra with a record of 11 wins, 8 losses, and all 11 wins coming by way of knockout. I present to you the man, Kamaruddin Boyfield. And across the ring, ladies and gentlemen, he brings you love from the Bronx gym in Jamestown, Accra. Gone seven fights with no loss, won seven of them and one draw. Five of them coming by way of knockout. Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you the reigning national featherweight champion of Ghana who weighed in at 126 pounds. Please put your hands together for John Laurier. On the sides of the ring tonight, judging the bout are Michael Nikwe, Erasmus O, and Roger Bano. And in the center of the ring is the highly experienced referee Shadrach Akwe. Tonight is going to be a lot of battle well, between Bronze Boxing Gym and Charles Quarte Gym. You got the main bout, <laughs> Michael One Bullet and Science from the Charles Quarte Gym. And the opponent is from Bronze Boxing Gym. And this is also another Bronze Boxing Gym versus 
Chow Squatty Gym Clash. We'll see which gym. <laughs> Round Stands one. tall tonight. <laughs> you know, but to, to, today, today, uh, bronze gym and just got a gym. They are matching the six match rough. <laughs> <laughs> and there we go, the beginning of this fight. The National Featherweight Championship. The Ghana title is at stake here. The man in the white with black stripes, John Abayalaye, the man they call the expensive boxer. He already defeated Kamaradu in Boyfield to take this title. But as I said earlier, Boyfield never accepted the verdict. And tonight, he's had his chance for a rematch and an opportunity for revenge. Do you think he's going to get a revenge, champ? Um, but what I'm saying is that um, the Kaloko bronze gym, right? Yes. He is he, he, more experienced. He, uh, he, know, he, he can box. He's a very good boxer than. Uh, but this guy can punch, too. Oh. So, um, he should, he, although he's fighting, but he have to be very careful so that he won't get caught up with some punch. No, so, but it's a good fight. Uh, but yeah. So, do you think the height advantage is going to really work for Abaya Laie? Um, because he appears to have a very massive height advantage here. Um, you know, some fighters use their height, but most fighters don't use their height. You know, so but if he's smart enough to use what he have, he can defeat um, the, the, taller, the, the taller guy. You know, but boxing, like boxing, is not all about height. It's, that, uh, it's all about like experience. But if if, if you are you, you are tall and you are smart, and that's your lucky. But most fighters, good fighters, they are not that tall. Like, like for example, my man called me a midget. So, <laughs> <laughs> you, know, you can see Tyson. Tyson is very, very short. Yes. You can see Pacquiao. You know? Even Floyd is short but, by, you know, he, by his weight category. He has height yeah, by he their has standards. Some, you know, right. but him, him know how to use his uh, advantages, uh, his height. But most boxers don't know how to use their height. No, definitely. Okay. You know, that, that's the difference. You know, it depends on the boxer, boxer in question. Yeah, you know. So it's going so far around. Why it appears both boxers are up for this because nobody is backing down so far, as I can see from here. The action so far in the opening round here at the Bukom Boxing Arena. We have a sizable crowd here, despite the COVID 19 restrictions. You know. The president announced, and and Boyfield. This guy can throw one point, and by him he's mad. I told you, this one can we can point by. And Boyfield, as you know, our champ has been saying, <laughs> how do you see his performance in this opening round? Yeah, you know, uh, uh, this guy is fighting real good. Uh, uh, Kaluko uh, uh, boxer is doing fighting really good, and and the other guy he can punch. So you need to be very very careful. While he's fighting, is to watch out the point that is coming. If not, if he gets caught up with a point, this guy can knock him out. You know. So you should be very very careful. He's doing a good job, but he shouldn't he shouldn't do mistake and get caught up with some point. You know. So that's a good fight. You know. Because one punch can make a massive. Different. And and your and Boyfield appears to be aiming for the knockout sort of punch. Yeah. He appears to be after one second punches. Out. Yeah. But he, he knows that that's why you have. Second out. Round two. And you and him, he, he, he have uh, experience like you know how to box. So you use uh, his boxing and be smart. And defeat the, the guy by if he's there is going to uh, change exchange points with him, like Papa and me, this guy who can get him. So I think it's gonna be a good version. He he's very smart. We'll see how his corner men saw it uh, and yeah. how he will approach the second round going forward. It's round two. A powerful point there from Laie. Laie tries to a, a triple combination there. He goes again to the body, to the head. 
He saw Laie so far in this one, but Cameroon with their powerful left. Another powerful to the head there from Laie. And it's all Laie so far in round two. Boy Fio has yet to arrive here in this very round. But he appears to be a man who is not rattled at all. But Laie will not allow him to get anywhere near him in this second round. How do you see the approach of Laie now? Uh, I think uh, right now Laie has listened to his corner and he's being smart. But well, right now he's moving and boxing. You know, because you know that when he stands, this guy can cut him with some point. So I think right now Laie is doing a good job. So you should, should keep it up. Okay, there we are, still in round two. And we are yet to see any punch from Cameroon Boyfio in this round. It's all Laie. Laie not giving him any opportunity to also box back. Laie, the boxer managed by Sami Enim Ado of Baby Joy Promotions. The man who is also the an executive committee member of the Ghana Football Association. And Laie plays a smart one there. He lands again. And Laie is not allowing Cameroon to get anywhere you know, near him. Because right now, Lai, Lai is keeping his distance. Well, you know that when, when um, the guy gets closer to him, he can get him with some punch. He's doing a good job. He's really doing a good job. But the thing is, um, the, the, the other opponent, he's supposed to be, I mean, jabbing, you know, getting into his hand, but he's all, all just looking for a knockout punch. And yeah. would that work? Uh, knockout punch, knockout punch come by yourself. You know, but if you are looking for a way, no point, the opponent will see it, and you always be smart and, and get away from that. And, and, and it means that you are, you are losing points. And you are losing your energy, too. You know, if you get, if you get uh, to some round, right, you get tired because you are missing a lot of punches. You know? So as you could see, how do you see the round two? I think Cameroon didn't arrive in that round at all. Yeah, he didn't do anything in that round. Like, he wanted the knockout point. But they don't have to come by itself. You know, right, right now this guy is doing a good job. Because he, he, he's smart moving around. But they are both. I can say, I can, I can say the first round can be, let's say, 50. But the, next, the second round, he won. Light won. You know, so let's see the, the next round. But she, she didn't just fly on the knockout. It should work. They don't have to come by itself. Uh, <laughs> we hope. This corner man will also listen or will also notice that and advise him coming to the round three because we noticed that of Laie after round one and when he came to round two, he did a good job as you said he should. That, 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 that is good. Second out, round three. You know, but the East corner, they need to change their game plan. If you use the one game plan didn't work, then you need to change another game plan. You don't have to use only one game plan, you know? Okay. So you should, you should keep doing what he's doing. All right. Yeah. That's round three that we are on now. has just begun. It is the Ghana featherweight title at stake here this evening. John Abayalai versus Cameroon Boyfield. It's a rematch. Laie, of course, won the previous fight to win the title. But Boyfield is here seeking revenge and also to be champion. He's still Laie, not allowing his opponent anywhere near him. And it's another wild punch there from Cameroon, the man who appears to be looking for a knockout punch, but he's not finding it so far here 
in the third round. Cameroon, you know Cameroon, I have a brother. He is very, very good fighter, but Rana is in the UK. He is very, very good fighter. No, he's, and, uh, you know, I think he didn't get someone to help him out, so he just forget about everything. So right now, he's in the UK training some fighters. Oh, so, they are, but, but him, I know I said I still love the game, so he's still fighting, you know. Yeah, definitely. More Panamanda from Laie as Cameroon still can't land punches here in round three. Ghana featherweight champion trying to defend the title here against the man he previously defeated to win the very belt. And, but even though he wouldn't land any punch, he's, you know, shaking his head at the, the attempts by Laie. But so far, we can see that it's only Laie who is doing anything in this fight. Yeah, you know, uh, Laie is fighting, he's taking all the points. But, but, uh, Cameroon, right? Cameroon. 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 <laughs> Cameroon. <laughs> Cameroon. Come I thought you would be the one who, who know this name better. Uh, 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 Gamero doing, he's doing, he's doing, like, him, he just wanted a knockout punch, you know? He just wanted a knockout punch. And but, he's, losing, he's losing the point. Yeah, but, uh, like, you know, I think, if, if, uh, Gamero doing, win, like, he couldn't give a knockout, then I win the fight. But he couldn't give a knockout. But let's see, but we are still we have more rounds to go. So let's see what will happen. So it means that the only way he's going to win. Claire, he, he has stated it, he, he has shown that the only way he's going to win is by knockout. Cameroon. Yeah, Cameroon. Yeah, him. Cameroon, you know, he can, he can take a punch. That's what I know. But to my point, he can make it go down. And boxing, you know, you don't need to take so much punishment. It, it, it can weaken you. Yeah, so if, if, if he's taking too much punishment, he's going to need to stop the fight. You know, but so, so he should do it. He's too excited to fight. Second out. Fight, he, he need to stop the fight. Second out. Uh, and as you said, I think round I said, four. I think he's not coming from the round four. As you said, he's, he's seen enough. <laughs> he's had enough. And it means that Laie. Abay Alaye, the expensive boxer, has retained his title. Boyfio, after taking the punishment in round two and three, has failed to answer the bell for round four. Yeah. Champ, do you think, were you expecting this? Yeah, I knew it. I knew that because he's, he's taking too much punches. You know, he's taking too much punches. So uh, need, uh, the corner needs to save him. You know, so that's the best thing they did. You know, but if you want to fight and win, you cannot just go and throw one point to one point. No, you need to let your hands go. You know, so I, know, I think that is the thing where the good thing that uh, his parents told him to, to do. You know, so uh, I mean, we need to fight another day. You know, so maybe they'll they give you another opponent and they'll bounce back. So, it's a case of him living to fight another day. <laughs> so that's it. Another fight is over. It is the Ghana Featherweight Championship. And it lasted only four rounds. Kamerudin Bofio fails to answer the bell for round four. Meaning that Laie is a winner again. The boxer coached by the experienced Kaloko. So how do you see Kaloko and his team and the boys coming up out of there? Yeah, out uh, there some teams are doing really good. Like, like Wisdom Boxing Club, Kaloko Gym, and um, 
Coach Kwe, and uh, um, Bukum Boxing Gym, and Atakwashi. They are bringing a lot of good boxers. So these are all gyms. They are, they are doing, the coaches are doing a good job. And, 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 uh, and Akotuku Academy. So I know that these coaches, they need to always uh, like reward them, motivate them, so that they can push all their energy and train the fighters so they can bring more boxers. But, so if you say this reward, this motivates, where will it come from? Yeah, we are, we are, we are, we are, we are pretty for, for the government, you know. Like, what are you going to say? We all, we all rely on the government, you know. So, but, you know, it's like, 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 what they have to do is, this is what I think, uh, uh, maybe the government. And now, ladies and gentlemen, by a fourth title, round technical knockout, the man who remains the champion. In the featherweight division title, here in Ghana, put your hands together to for the Bronx Gems, John. Ah, yay! Just one small bit of thing to push the fighters and the coaches, because if the fighters are doing good, the coaches will be okay. But if the coaches are putting all the work and the fighters uh, they are not, they are not doing anything, it's like, like they are doing work down their roof. So maybe the coaches. I don't give up, you know. So I think the government is just to help. That's it. That's that. And that's Laya putting up a show in a ring. As the GBA executives have entered the ring to to decorate him with his title. And. It is true, he's a Ghana champion, Ghana featherweight champion, John Abayalaye, the expensive boxer. He has retained the belt by stopping Cameroon Boyfio in round four. We we'll see some executive members of the Ghana Boxing Authority, Isaac Lord Akwe and Alaji. <laughs> <laughs>